This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Hitler is not the nicest guy around, but apparently he really loved dogs. He did. And <laughs> um, he was trying to teach his dogs to be excellent guard dogs, and he also was trying to teach them how to speak and read and write. Yeah, so we know, <laughs> we know the Nazis were into dogs, the right. shepherds, right. as they okay. called them there. They didn't need to call them German shepherds. Um, <laughs> oh, so they snap. So they had the, uh, uh, we know they loved the dog. We know Hitler loved dogs. He had two, Blondie and another dog. Bella. 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 He killed Blondie yeah. right before he killed himself. Yeah, That's how much he loved him, her, it. Um, <laughs> but there are a couple things in the story. That, so it, this is part of a program, the research Cardiff University. Yeah, there's a professor who wrote a book about it called Amazing Dogs, A Cabinet of Canine Curiosities. Yeah, so they, as, as Jackie said, they were trying to teach the dogs to read, write, and speak. Yeah. Right. They put them through an intense training program. <laughs> and it says that they ultimately wanted them to be guard dogs. Right, exactly. I, the I ultimate guard dog. I don't dog. buy that. I think they want them to, like, be part of their army or something and, like, take <laughs> over the world. But well, I like yeah. to, they wanted to be the ultimate guard dogs, but they needed to, what, write? Yeah. So at the end of your tour of duty as a guard dog, uh, write up what the prisoners were like today. Yeah. That's very important. Right. Goldstein got a little out of line. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah. also great is they said that they wanted, they said there was dogs trained to discuss yeah. religion, contemplate complex mathematics, and communicate with humans. Right. right. Okay. Some humans can't even do that. I mean, <laughs> most humans can't even do complex math and talk about religion. Yeah. You've gotten to the, the part of the story that I just, okay, so from the book comes this line, uh, under trainer uh, uh, Margaret uh, Schmidt's direction, right? Mm -hmm. They had Rolf the Airedale Terrier. Yes, right? good name. And as you said, they trained that dog, Rolf, to contemplate contemplate uh, complex math math problems mm -hmm. and communicate with humans by tapping out an alphabet code using his paw. Right. All right. <laughs> but there was an, also another dog named Kerwinel, right. I guess, who would crack jokes like a comedian. Right. So Kerwinel <laughs> Kerwinel's doing stand up. Yeah. <laughs> right. And Rolf has an abacus, right? Yeah. And, so I mean, and most right, so, humans can't do this, but why did they think dogs could do it? Right. So <laughs> it's, exactly, it's a fair point. So Kerwinel's like telling uh, jokes and but Rolf is like while he's doing it is like Time, your set, <laughs> your set list is almost up, right? So this is all obviously total horse shit, right? These dogs can't do, the dog wasn't telling jokes. You know why? Dog, okay? So then the next paragraph here says, but Hitler's presumable pick of the litter was a pooch named Don who apparently barked Mein Fuhrer when asked who Adolf <laughs> Hitler was. Like, I'm like, okay, now we've reached the part of the story that might be true. They've taught, the, so the dog went like, Mein Fuhrer! You know, I'm like, okay, wow. now I finally believe something, you know, <laughs> like that would be on YouTube today. That would be on German YouTube, YouTube. That would be on that YouTube. today. YouTube. Right. Is that a real thing? I don't know. I just made it up. Yeah, um, it's going to become a real thing. The, uh, it's, it's only videos of Ben. I love it that they're like, the dog could do math, this dog could tell jokes, and this dog barked mine Fuhrer. I almost feel bad for the university that this professor teaches at. Right? It's, well, and, and she keeps, we're laughing at it. She keeps stressing the fact that, oh, Nazis, you know, they were really all about animal rights. They really cared about dogs. What, what are you trying to make the Nazis, like, well, sound I'm, a little bit better? Well, I'm going to cut the professor who did the, stu the study at Cardiff University a break because she's telling us how she's, t I didn't know the Nazis were this obsessed. Like, it's cool to learn the Nazis were doing this nonsense with dogs. It makes them sound like idiots. You can't teach <laughs> dogs to do math or do stand-up. Um, but they thought they would, and it is weird that the Nazis, who were so barbaric and are gathering up these Jews and taking their belongings and shipping them off to these horrible concentration camps, were so concerned about what happened to the Jews' pets. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's this weird, contra it's not much of a contradiction, they're barbaric, but it's, it almost makes it worse because there is some humanity inside them. Right, you know, and they, they see hadn't it turned in a dog. It, right, they hadn't turned it off completely. They have compassion for these pets, but couldn't have compassion for the 12 million people who they execute. It's right. horrible. But that said, so I find the actual uncovering of the study amusing, and I'm totally amused by Kerwin Dahl. <laughs> the dog. And his great stand-up routine. <laughs> Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. They've got 75,000 different titles. A book I've always meant to read but didn't have time for is Guns, Germs, and Steel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to it through Audible.com. Actually, if you're a Young Turks listener, you get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.